How do we build effective AI agents? What should we think about in terms of security? And how do we maintain users' privacy when developing AI agents? We're going to answer these questions in the sixth lesson of the AI Agents for Beginners course. In this course, we take you from concept to code, covering the fundamentals of building AI agents. And in this short video, it follows along with the written lesson, including translations and code samples that you can find at the link above and below this video. So let's get started about looking at building effective and trustworthy AI agents. And that's by covering this concept of a system message framework. As you may already know, the system message is one of the places that we as creators of our AI agents can have the most impact and control when working with LLMs. This is even more important when we talk about AI agents because we want to set clear instructions so that the AI agent performs the actions we want it to. One way to build effective prompts is in a scalable and repeatable way is using a system message framework. This starts by creating a system message for generating system messages for other AI agents. What this allows us is to use a basic system message like you're an agent responsible for booking flights and give it to an LLM that has a system message template for generating better system, system prompts and get back a prompt that has a clearer and more specific instructions covering responsibilities, tone and style and interaction instructions, as well as any additional notes. When developing agents, it's rare when working with more complex scenarios that you will get the perfect prompt the first, second, or even third time. Building prompts is an iterative process, and the system message framework allows you to iterate better by making tweaks to the template generating system messages over time to improve across all your agents. The written chapter goes into more details about the various security threats, so do check that out. But another tool that I would like to cover is the human in the loop architecture when working with AI agents. You might be building AI agents that require a human approval or intervention. And human in the loop enables this by adding a human user in the multi-agent cooperation. We'll cover more about this in the multi-agent chapter, but as a concept, your AI agents are instructed when the specific user statement like approve enters the conversation to perform a certain action like terminating the agent runtime. But before you terminate this video, let's head over to our code editor and look at this in practice. Okay, so now we're here at our code sample uh, for chapter six. Again, this code sample is available at the GitHub repo in the link above and below this video. What I wanna look at in this example is actually the system message framework concept that we just discussed earlier and kind of putting that into practice. So what we have here is the role and three variables, the role, travel agent, company, contoso travel and responsibility booking flights. Uh, what we actually wanna do is then use this as a kind of a, a way to build a more sophisticated prompt for actually using an AI, AI agent to do these sorts of things. So we actually have this message here, which is going to system messages describing that you're an expert at creating AI agent assistance. Uh, and that's gonna actually go in and then take in, uh, basically allowing it to sort of define the name, role, responsibilities, and other information that might be useful uh, for providing a system message to another AI agent. Then we're gonna have a user message that basically just going in and saying, uh, you know, you are the role. So in this case you can travel agent, company, Contoso, and then you have responsibility, which is booking flights. So from this very basic definition of a, a prompt, we will should have a very more specific and detailed prompt that we can then use to build out agents. Uh, and in this case, if we look at this example, we have uh, this system prompt, AI assistant Contoso travel, the core responsibilities all outlined in terms of being a flight booking assistant, some personalization and optimization, flight availability and pricing, and travel requirements, and 
policy. So helping and listing, listing all these responsibilities that the agent should be able to take care of. And then even having some more notes in terms of, uh, you know, making sure to focus on customer satisfaction and ensuring accuracy to minimize booking errors. Of course, we can edit this if we think that maybe this is uh, too many responsibilities because maybe we don't have the ability for an agent to do that. But then again, this just shows you the power of using a framework like this because we can easily come in and kind of change some of these responsibilities uh, in terms of the agent and you know, kind of duplicate and scale the amount of prompts that we have for our AI agents. So we don't have to continue to rewrite this over and over again. So that was applying the system message framework. I encourage you again to look at the written chapter for other examples. Uh, we will see you in the next chapter of AI Agents for Beginners. See you there.